Hey guys, thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, I would like to share to you this simple yet very cool project using a dot matrix display. It is called binary clock. You might ask, what is binary clock? Binary clock is a clock that is represented using a binary. So, this column represents year. This is for the month. This is for the day. Then there is a blank here. Then this is for the R, minutes, seconds, and subseconds. And if you are wondering how to read this, the bottom part represents 1, this is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. For example, this column represents year. So this is 1, 4, and 16. Add it up and it will arrive to 21. And today is year 2021. Another example could be this one. This represents R. So this is 4 plus... 16 and it's 20. The clock uses a military time, so we need to subtract 12 and it will arrive to 8 p.m. And as you can see in my desktop, it's 8.57 p.m. The clock data is from the built-in real-time clock of ESP32. So for this project, you will need an ESP32 development board, an 8x8 dot matrix display, and of course some jumper wires. This dot matrix display uses a MAX7219 driver chip, which simplifies interfacing and minimizes GPIO requirements by using SPI communication. I power it using 3.3 volts, but it should also work with 5 volts. Data in pin is connected to GPIO 23 here, clock pin to GPIO 19, and chip select pin to GPIO 18. Circuit diagram will be posted in the companion blog post for this tutorial. Links in the video description. Now for the software part, I have used the MAX7219 driver library for dot matrix display by Jeff Brown, which is available on his GitHub. So you may copy this MAX7219.py, which I already have it in MicroPython device root directory. So save it to your MicroPython root directory. I will post the copy of this driver library in the companion blog post. For this tutorial. I also prepared the source code here, binaryclock.py, which basically converts the date and time data values from ESP32 built-in RTC module to binary representation which is being displayed to a single 8x8 dot matrix display which is, as you can see, now here before you run this source code you need to modify this because my esp32 or commonly all esp32 does not have a built-in or does not have a backup battery to retain its date and time data but if you want you can use an external module which comes with external battery. This function converts the date and time value to its equivalent binary representation, which is being displayed to the dot matrix display module. So that's all for now. I hope you learned something from this. As always, the source code that is in here is available in the companion blog post for this video at techtotinker.blogspot.com 
Links in the video description. And if you have any question regarding this video, write it in the comment box provided. Please do hit the like and share this to your friends. And if you are new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you and see you next time. God bless!